Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel the Bearded. Beard product review for you today. It's Monday. Let's start the week off right. The week, or this week's review is going to be on Mudcat Whiskers. It may be a new company to you. It's been around for a little bit. If you're new here, go ahead and smash that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Men's grooming tips, tips and tricks to your best beard. Blue collar content. Just beard product reviews, everything's going down right here. So after the intro, we're getting into Mudcat Whiskers. It's gonna be a big one. He sent out a lot of stuff for me to review for you guys. So my opinions, my recommendations, after the intro on the other side. I'll see you over there. Hey, this is the other side, we're here. Let's get into it, Mudcat Whiskers. Uh, They're based out of Lafayette, Louisiana. Super cool guy, Nick. He's the owner. He does a lot of charity work. He does um, uh, beard and mustache competitions. He sponsors. He organizes, gets them all together, helps out the community, helps out different charities. So when you support this company, it's going other places. Like he is putting, uh, he's putting it right back into his community. Um, he's he's had a pretty decent sized following so far in the beer community. Yes, the beer community is small, um, but yet it's still forming. It's still coming together. There's still a lot of people that needs to be educated about beards and we're all here for it. But the products, so he sent out eight different oils, five different balms, a butter, a comb, some stickers. We're gonna get into pricing first. For a one ounce oil, it's gonna run you $14. For a two ounce balm, it's gonna run you $17. For a three ounce butter, it's gonna run you $20. He does have other deals, combos, stuff like that on the website. So if you wanna check it out, go on the website, Mudcat Whiskers. It's, yeah, it's a lot to take in. He's got it all individually uh, by the scent and you pick what you want from that scent. But now we're gonna get into it. There's a lot to go through. The first one we're gonna get into is a scent called Trey Tour. I may have misspelled it. These labels are epic. They look like old parchment paper, but just the detail on it. All right, the carrier blend is gonna be hemp seed oil, jojoba oil, argan oil, and blended and essential fragrance for fragrance. So, Trey Tier. Trey Tier to me in bottle almost has like a, um, a perfume type vibe to it. It's not really a perfume, but that's the vibe that it gives off in the beginning. It gives you like, uh, it almost like, uh, makes you wanna think of uh, 18, early 1900s. That's the type of vibe I get from this. In beard, it mellows out, it's not as strong, and just gives you a nice light type scent. And by the way, all these scents have, you know, they have a nostalgia about old Louisiana, the French Quarter, Cajun, Creole, that type stuff. If you go on the website, you can read about some of it and where his inspiration came for the scents. Uh, next, we have Boudreaux. Just, I mean, each label is different, has its own little thing. Carrier blend's the same. Boudreaux, for me, has like an earthy spiciness to it. Not spicy as in cinnamon or not spicy as in, you know, hot wing spicy. This has that um, almost like a black pepper type vibe to it. But in beard also, again, it mellows out and it just gives you a nice cologne, earthy vibe. Really, really good. Uh, one of my favorites from what he sent out. Uh, next we have Eden. I have to show you all these labels. They're each one's different and it's the amber bottle, black dropper top. So Eden in bottle. Man, this is I had trouble with my notes when I when I wrote all this stuff down. Almost like your mom's favorite shampoo. I mean, I hate to say that about it, but that's the vibe I get from it. This was one of Probably my least favorites. Um, yeah, it's it's just a little too floral for me. Uh, next, we're gonna get into rain. Now, rain has like 
I was born in the 80s, so it almost has like an eight, an early 80s cologne vibe for me. That I'm here, it's a statement. It's it's not a bad with some floral undertones. In beard, it lightens up a little and you, you get more of the floral uh, with that crispiness, that freshness. Rain's a really good scent. I enjoyed it. Parish. Now for Parish. Parish reminds me of fresh sugar cookies out of the oven. That's what I get, or maybe a shortbread. But either way, this reminds me of a fresh baked sugar cookie. It's got that warm, that vanilla kind of like hits you and in beard, it, the vanilla, it, it just stays with you and it, it just gives you like a cozy type vibe. For me, this would be a great, great wintertime scent. Next up, we have Papaw's Pipe. So from, from the name, you get a sweet tobacco, uh, an unburnt tobacco scent. Like it's not, it's almost like a fresh tobacco. It's not like your typical, there's a lot of scents out there that have the name Papaw's Pipe or Pappy's Porch or, you know, something of that, that term, that, that, that lingo. But this is more just like straight tobacco for me. Really, really good scent. I really enjoyed this. I'm really big on some tobacco scents right now, so that came in pretty clutch. Next up is the Quarter. You see some of the French Quarter buildings in the, in the label. Black bottle, matte, flat black, black dropper. For me, this is earthy. Uh, almost like gun smoke or smoke, um, gunpowder, that type vibe. The quarter is really good. It's almost like after a fireworks show, that scent that's in the air, that's what this reminds me of. I really, really enjoyed it. This was one of my also favorites. Yeah, this is really, really good. It's It, it almost, after it's been in beard and it kind of mellows out, it almost has like a sweet undertone. I really, really enjoyed this. Uh, the quarter is really good. So the one I saved for last was uh, Bayou Black, and uh, I have that in a trio. I have the oil, the butter, and the balm. That's why I saved this one for last, so I can just transition into the next. So Bayou Black, it's almost got that same vanilla scent, but then it kind of uh, gives you a twist of like a sour, not sour like as in candy, but it has its own, like an earthy type pungent to it. It's hard to explain. All these scents, um, my explanations are not gonna do it enough justice. The complexity that are built into these scents, the time that he takes, uh, the, the, the places he draws inspiration from, it's in these bottles and you can get the kind of vibe, but you can't really transition it into words. I mean, you really have to experience this stuff. And if you wait to the end of the video, I have an amazing discount code for you guys you can try it at a huge, huge discounted rate. Yeah, it's it's just got that earthiness, that that twist to it. The, these scents are like super complex. So Bayou Black was the only butter that he sent out, but I did really, really, really enjoy it. You can't really see because it's so bright. Focus. Uh, I get more of a, um, a sweeter vibe. Uh, from the butter on Bayou Black. I get the sweetness. I don't get that as much earthiness. And man, I really, really wish I could put my finger on that on that note that I'm getting. It's it's not sour in a bad way, but it's it just gives you that twist that, uh, man, it's hard to explain. So he also sent out the balm. Two ounce tin. They're black, double-sided label. Um, well, let me go back real quick. I got ahead of myself. Uh, the butter is Takuma butter, sal butter, kupuasu butter, uh, babasu oil, cucumber seed oil, castor oil, tamanu oil, metafoam seed oil, jojoba oil, hemp seed oil, argan oil, and fragrance. So the butter was a really, really super conditioning butter. It gave you that nourishment. It made your beard super, super soft. I wore it at night. It just, 
man, I wore it every chance I got actually. Uh, when it was super hot outside, I didn't wear it, but the butter was phenomenal. For me, the complexity of the scents, uh, the simplistic carrier blend that is very, very effective, It's you can tell he has built this, these carrier blends, this uh, butter mix, the balm, you can tell that he's put a lot of effort into it and it really, really shows. Like, if you have a facial hair, you need to try Mud Cat Whiskers. Uh, the balm, so the ingredients in the balm are shea butter, soy butter, cocoa butter, coconut oil, emollient wax, beeswax, and fragrance. Uh, the balm was not my favorite. Um, I do enjoy good balms, but the balm for me, um, it almost like it didn't have um, an identity, I guess you would say. Um, it was a little too firm to be a butter, but a little too lax to be a balm for me. It, it's kind of weird. I had it in uh, five different scents, the Bayou Black, the Papal's Pipe, Rain, Eden, and Parish. If you enjoy balms, uh, if you like your balms more toward a butter consistency, you might enjoy these a little bit more than I did. Uh, when I use a balm, I want a firm, firm balm. I did not get this from that. I don't know. I don't know. It, all beards are different. Since subjective. All these are just opinions. It's not fact. You may come to your own different conclusion. So for me, another thing that he sent out, he sent out two of them, and that is his uh, Mud Cat Whiskers carbon fiber detangling comb. He also sent out a uh, fine tooth comb. I have that in my work truck, so I don't have it here because I carry it with me to use throughout the day. Uh, super cool comb, glides through like a normal, just, I mean, it, it goes through the beard like no other. No snags, no, no hard spots, no nothing to get you, no pulls, just all around, Great comb. Uh, it's only 10 bucks on the website, so I would snatch these up. He also has a really big rake um, wooden comb as well that you should really check out. So, like I said, the simple but effective carrier blends is what, and the complexity of the scents is what make Mudcat Whiskers a must have in your beard arsenal, your beard routine. I would grab it at least one or, you know, maybe even a trio just so you can try it all out. So, at this point, the awesome discount code that Nick uh, hooked us up with in this video, if you're watching it, it should still be good, whether you're watching it now or in the future. DTB is worth 25% off. So 14 bucks for an oil, you're gonna get it for like 10 bucks. I mean, it's it's really, really cheap. So uh, that's gonna wrap it up for me. Mudcat Whiskers, he has a crazy, super crazy Halloween theme trio coming with uh, Cropsy Maniac, I believe is what it's called, or what he's called, the, uh, the other guy he's collabing with. So be on the lookout for that in my fall wrap-up, fall sense. Um, yeah, learn something new today. Let it grow. I will see you soon. Later.